My name is David Double D. Devereaux. I'm the spokesperson from the Washington State Confederation of Clubs and also for the Council of Clubs, an organization that connects and unites confederation and coalitions nationwide. I'm here to talk about Waco, or more specifically what I think are the most important things to discuss concerning the tragedy that happened on May 17, 2015. All the details will continually come out and we'll find out more about the specifics of what caused the incident, who killed who, and who shot first. And all those things are very important, just not yet revealed. It's important to discuss what we do know and what we can establish, because a lot of what we can establish is more important than anything that we'll find out when the end of this story is told. Those are the due process concerns of 177 individuals who were arrested on generic and identical probable cause warrants and all given a million dollars bail based on the fact that they were not being cooperative. Why is this the most important issue centered around the Waco incident? The reason it's the most important issue centered around the Waco incident is the idea that the American criminal justice system, or rather the criminal justice system of any free society, understands that protecting the rights of the innocent individuals involved in any incident are more important than prosecuting and punishing those that are guilty. That's the cornerstone of American justice. If it were simply an ends justifies a means mentality, every time a crime occurred, every witness would be arrested, given a million dollars bond, simply to coerce cooperation from that individual. That's not how America works. There's something called the Fifth Amendment. You have the right not to incriminate yourself, which means if you are arrested, you have the right to remain silent. Additionally, the Eighth Amendment says that you can't use bail as excessive punishment. The only reason that bonds and bail exist is to ensure that an individual doesn't flee and an individual shows up for his required court dates. It's not as a punitive measure to coerce cooperation from that individual. This is the most important issue that comes out of the Waco incident because we know that there's no possible way that 177 individuals could have been involved in commission of a crime on May 17th. We also know that they were merely arrested because of expressing their associations through the symbols on their jackets and their t-shirts. Basically, they are arrested because they were members of organizations that alleged individuals were involved in a crime. That's not justification for probable cause. It's not justification for an arrest. And it definitely doesn't represent justice.